qualifiers Motherwell would do if they were to avoid the playoffs for certain. But it was well who created the first chance. Innes Ritchie failing to connect the cross from Sean McSkimming. Hearts looked the strongest side on the day. Good work here by Fraser Wishart. But a great tackle from Rob McKinnon preventing a shot. Hearts kept up the pressure and they could have broken the deadlock on the half hour mark. John Robertson laying off to Brian Hamilton. That finish could have been better. David Hagen had the best chance of the first half. Rounding Scotland man Brian Martin before making space. The shot though, well saved by Woods. Hearts felt they should have had a penalty just after the interval. John Robertson going down in the box. Referee Willie Young waved away the appeals. But just two minutes later, the deadlock was broken. Great cross from John Cahoon. Brian Hamilton on hand to head home his second goal of the season. Both goals coming against Motherwell. The visitors, though, then stepped up a gear after that and gave Hearts an anxious moment on the hour. Alex Burns shot, saved by Craig Nelson. The well players claiming the keeper had carried the ball over the line. The referee did not agree. And more controversy just five minutes from the end. Eddie May this time felt he'd been pushed by Craig Levine, but still no penalty. The game was now becoming scrappy, and just two minutes later, a spot kick was given, this time at the other end. Hearts on the attack, and Gany Mackay brought down by Brian Martin. No doubt this time in the referee's mind. He said, clearly, a penalty. John Robertson then stepped up to put the game out of reach and guarantee Premier League football at Tynecastle for next season.